What's up guys, it's Corvman. So today I have a video for you for the game Child of Light. Now this game's been out for about a month or so, but the thing is, this is the latest mod tool from Audio, so I decided to purchase it, play it, and then also just make a video showing off what the mod tool for Audio does. And basically, in this game, you have stats like HP, MP, you have all these other stats as well for every character. This is like a turn-based like RPG side-scroller. And with this tool you can max out these stats because for example right now I am too weak to beat this boss and if I want to get past him real quick all I gotta do is edit my stats. Now what you're gonna do is quit out to the main menu after you save the game or get to where you want to edit your stats then you're just going to take out your USB drive. Make sure you save this game on a USB drive. Once you do, put it in your computer and open up Modio. Once you open up Modio, you're going to click Open to Save. From Open to Save, you're going to go to USB Stick. After you get to USB Stick, you're going to go to the game Child of Light. Now, once you click on this, you're going to click on it twice, and then it's going to open up in the editor, and you can now modify the save. So now, click Modify Save, and you can see all your stats for every character. You can either max them out, or just adjust them to your liking. It doesn't really matter. I'm going to max them out for this video. And again, you can use them for every character. Um, now, so I'm going to save the changes, and after the save changes, I'm just going to put it in a USB stick back in my Xbox. From here, you just load up the save, click the USB stick that your save is on, and then click continue. Once the game starts, you're going to notice that your HP and MP immediately are maxed out. From here, you can actually look at your other stats. As you can see, they are pretty damn high, and you will not have a problem killing anything at all. Even if you don't have all the moves unlocked or any cool weapons, you can kill anything with these stats. <laughs> so basically, I'm going to fly back over to the boss that I couldn't beat earlier, and I'm just going to demonstrate what it does. I didn't edit the second character just so I can show you the difference it applies to the character. From here you can see that the other guy that I did not edit has normal stats and this the girl named Aurora in this game has maxed out stats. See as you can see I'm going to attack the person and it should kill it in one hit. Now you can see I just did a whole bunch of damage to the guy. The giant is now dead in one hit which I would never have been able to do before. Now, as you can see, this little jester guy doesn't do that much damage and takes a little, but it looks like a lot. So he has normal stats, and as you can see again, I'm going to actually do a lot of damage to this wolf. I did over 3,000 damage. Normally I would only do like 20. And as you can see, the jester only does 20 damage but the one with the maxed out stats does over a thousand. So that's it for this game, and that's how it works. So if you like, please like the video. If you want, please subscribe. It's Corbman, and I'll see all you guys next time. Peace out.